good morning on a very foggy, frosty, we think it's snowing slightly, morning in Langres. Langres, we'll go Langres. In France. But yesterday when we arrived in the late afternoon, blue skies, crystal clear, clear, blue sky, you could sit outside, it was gorgeous. This morning we've woken up to this, but we are still going to go and attack the whole six miles of ramparts. <laughs> Which is luck. <laughs> we don't need luck. We just need the mist to lift so the view gets better. <laughs> True. It may do by the end of the day. As you can see, we can see a few yards in front of us and that's about it. Mind you, the trees look quite amazing because the frost is just hanging on the trees. Let's even get a close up here. Just look at that. That is cool. I bet they won't focus now. Can't get to focus. So let's see if I can take a picture. Stick a picture here instead. Stop one, the Tower of St. Frages. Do you? I know. French is, I can speak a little bit, but I can't pronounce their words. It's going to be quite epic. They put some nice modern art in here. But yeah, that, this is just a mahoosive, mahoosive tower to mark the edge of the city. Can we give you a quick whiz around? See, the main road is just below us. Wins around the edge, we should be able to get back and get the modern art just in the focus. That's as far zooming out as I can get. But yeah, modern art. Tentatively walking down. This is meant to be a winter adventure. <laughs> uh, oh, look at the icicle coming out of there, look. Now that just proves how cold it is. That water that's flowing out of there is frozen solid. It's cold. Just in case anyone wondered what it should look like. It should look something like this, with a fantastic view down into the valley. There is a lake hiding at the bottom of the valley, but just so you can see what we're looking at, because we're here bringing this especially for you. Now, somewhere at the bottom of this valley, there is a lake. And there's a big green valley and it's quite gorgeous looking. Well, it was when I glanced it yesterday in the sunshine. Sadly, we saved it until today to decide to come and have a walk around the ramparts because it was like sort of four o'clock yesterday afternoon and it is winter, so it was dark by about five. So we weren't going to cover six miles in about half an hour and get back. We should have gone yesterday, I think. Hmm. What's that? They named a tower after you? <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it. The Shao. <laughs> the Shao Tower. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I imagine the view is spectacular. What's this? Tor Viros. Another listed building, another tour, another chance to look at that spectacularly rubbish fog. Bless it. It could be good. It's good fun so far. <laughs> so far, we've seen no views. Lots of battlements. Some, some towers, some, some battlements. Towers, yeah. yeah. A French man on a scooter that had to push the scooter. Yeah, up his the battery hill. scooter wasn't very good. <laughs> I don't suggest battery scooters In the and very steep hills along cobble battlements. <laughs> it's not a good combination. But we've only got about another five miles to go. So these are all the places we are looking at. <laughs> so, I can't read them. Copenhagen is that way. Copenhagen is that way. Strasbourg, St. Petersburg, Berlin, Moscow, out there somewhere. Um, Istanbul is that direction. Marseille is that direction. And the rest are on Rome's over there. So somewhere in the mist are some amazing places. <laughs> Just not another one of their famous monuments. Ye olde tram car. They used to have a tram that ran up and down. Obviously, this is all that's left of it now. They've got a nice modern funicular railway if you fancy a ride up from the car park. But doesn't he look special? Michelle didn't fancy the climb up to this tower, so hopefully she'll give us a wave from the bottom. 
and I'll take you to have a quick look off the edge, which certainly I imagine is exactly the same as all the other edges we've looked off today. That's a nice tree though, does that count? Trees count? Nice tree, you can just about see the main road. Okay, if we wait there, we can just about see about home going past us. Maybe that one's going to join us on the air. Two motor monomes. Yeah, they've repurposed it for as a road. But that is the town hall and market gate. And if we spin round, that one is equally as pretty. Next up, we've got Taru Gate, listed building, constructed in 1855. I don't know where the gate is. It's down there. It's down there. Busy road beside us now. You can't see it. That is quite special. It's like a proper roundhouse. It's called the Nevaire and Orville Tower. The building is situated on a piece of land called Le Champ de Nevers. Today it is a camping ground which originally belonged to the Count of Champagne who also was also King of Nevers. It is an artillery tower on a monument, monumental scale. I think it'd be fair to say that as much as Langres was beautiful in the fog, in the sunshine, that's going to be the most gorgeous place you've ever walked around. They are stunning bits of ramparts to walk around. But it did end up as a winter wonderland, so it wasn't too bad. But there is a bit of an omission in this video. I, in my head, had read the instructions that said it was a six-mile walk around those ramparts. It was a six-kilometre walk. It didn't actually take that long. But there was a really nice bar in town, which we did frequent for a while. Now we're just going to leave you with our drive out. And we'll catch you when we're in the next part of France. You can't argue with the fact it is winter. There's one down here. That'll be that one there.